welcome, Elven. Tell me where she went. Ah, no. oh, Red. Just who I need. You know her? Great. Then tell her that going out there is a bad bet. Well, you tell him. He better crank out what he knows before I pummel him in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Della. What's going on? It's my sister, Boomer. She ran off into the desert. We, uh... We had a fight. I told her we'd discuss it in the morning after we both had time to cool off. But when I woke up, she was gone. And Spectacles over here was the only one to see her leave. But he refuses to tell me which way she went. You can't go striking off into the desert. You'll get lost. And if thirst doesn't kill you, the vanishing dread will. You know what happened to the Delvers who went out there last? No, you don't. No one does, because they didn't come back. Well, what about my sister? She's out there all alone. Maybe she's a sunk cost. <laughs> I'm asking you, Red. Help me find her. What brought you and Boomer out west? Ah, uh, that. There was an accident in Chain Scrape. An explosive accident? Well, you know how Boomer is. So we grabbed our tools and skipped town. Heard about a caravan striking out west after some passage got reopened. Decided to join up. But why come out here? You could have gone anywhere. Eh, can't really go back to the claim, and anywhere else is a little too... inhabited. At least out here, there's less chance of collateral damage. Besides, this place is gonna be a destination one day, right? Dad always said, get in early. If you think I can be bribed, know that I only take shards up front, no credit. Maybe we got in too early. The argument you had with Boomer? What was it about? Well, it started out as the same old spark and boom. I found her tinkering with one of my prototypes, trying to add explosives, as usual. And when I reminded her that the last time she did that, she nearly burned the whole place down, she just looked at me and shrugged. Then we got into this whole scorched out mess about why we had to leave Chain Scrape and come out here. Why, for the love of the Forge, she has to blow everything up? And what did Boomer say? Well, that's the thing. She didn't say anything. She just sat there, ignoring me. Even when I went to bed, not a word. And then, when I woke up in the morning, she, she was gone. She's never done that before. But knowing her, she's gonna get into some kind of trouble out there. And that's why I need to find her. What's the Vanishing Dread? That's what Stemmer calls the machine that stalks the sands out there. Sometimes you'll see it in the distance. A stationary blur of metal. It'll stay like that for hours. And then the next time you look, gone. Like it was never there. But what kind of machine is it? Don't know. No one's ever gone close enough to find out. A few of those Delvers went out there once, but all they found was a bunch of sand dunes. But I don't care what it is. It's not gonna stop me from finding my sister. If Boomer's lost in the desert, I might be able to find her. I'm coming with you. All this is my fault anyway. But you'll die. Where did you last see her? I suppose if you're with her, the odds of survival do go up. I thought I saw her heading towards the metal arches east of here. Then that's where we'll start. Let's go. Yeah, you. I wish those would go along with the television. Can't believe Boomer would do this. Any idea why she would hey, head Lloyd. to the arches? Oh, your timing Probably couldn't be better. Probably just to get as far Over away here. from me as possible. During the fight, I... I snapped at her. Said some things I shouldn't have. Everyone makes mistakes. You know, back in the claim, she'd get into all kinds of trouble. Dad always said it was my job to look out for her. We'll find her, Della. Fading forage. I hope so. You see those curves of metal sticking out of the sand? Those are the arches.
There's some scrap in the sand. Maybe from the arches. Boomer's handiwork? Yeah, but no boomer. Let me search for tracks. Oh, you're back. Oh, I thought I was as lost as Boomer. There. Tracks. Looks like they lead out into the desert. What were you th thinking, Boomer? Do you have any siblings, Red? No. Lucky you. It's just... Sometimes she can really greet your gears. And sometimes... Most times. I have no Tracks idea what's here, tinkering in that head of hers. Looks like Boomer set out but some traps around the ruin. God, leave it to Boomer to litter the area with explosives. But where is she? If we get rid of the machines, maybe we'll find out. Straps came in handy. Nothing. Let's take a look in the ruins. Maybe we can figure out where she went. A small camp. Oh no. I know that hammer. This is Boomer's favorite hammer. She always makes a fuss whenever she misplaces it. She'd never leave it behind. Maybe she had to leave in a hurry when the machines moved in. Or something worse happened. Hey, we don't know that. Let's look around. She might have left another trail to follow. Hold on, Boomer. We're coming. There. Looks like she headed towards the hills. Well, let's go. There's some kind of wreck up on that cliff. How did Boomer get up there? This way. Right. Scaling a big old cliff.
What was this place? I don't know. But it looks abandoned. A shelter. And some kind of device. For Boomer? But where could she have gone from here? That wreck down there looks promising. Well, if there's one thing I know about Boomer, is that she can't resist a shiny pile of salvage. Come on, let's go down and check it out. Hey, look there, at the base of the wreck. Tools. But she found another spot to tinker. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, she was working on something here, all right. But where? Oh! Oh! Boomer? Gotta finish this. Boomer! What are you doing? Find that now. Here they come. See, Boomer? This is exactly why I always say not to run off. What were you thinking? Those machines could have killed you. Pressure valve, check. Boomer. Boom. Check. Boomer! Hey, Boomer? Yes? Your sister was really worried about you. Look, I know you must still be angry, but you can't run off into the desert like that. I didn't run, and I'm not angry. You're not? No. Why would I be angry? Be because of our fight. Be because you ran away. I didn't run. Well, you left me. I'd never leave you. You're my sister. I had an idea, so I went to find the parts. See? A weapon. This is just the payload carrier. The real secret are the boom discs. Throw one at a machine, slice and dice, and then it comes back until you throw it enough times, and then it goes boom. At least it's supposed to. I can't get it to come back. Uh, here, let me see. Ah, that's why. Pin here's off. Just needs a little cable around here. Done. Here, Red. Give it a try. No, wait! Try it on the big machine. This way. And there she goes. So you really didn't leave because of our fight? No. But you left camp without telling me. You were sleeping. Why didn't you wake me? You said you didn't want to talk until the morning. Well, yeah, but I meant about... <laughs> I didn't mean literally. How did you find your way to that old ruin? I saw it when we left Camp Nowhere. And you remembered how to get there? Yep. 
So what's this big machine we're after? You'll see. It's just down there. Okay. Ever since we left the claim, I figured I could just hammer it into her head to quit it with the explosions. Everything would be better. And after your fight, you thought you lost her because you were too hard on her. Turns out I was wrong about that, too. She doesn't see the world like I do. Where I see a problem, she sees a way to blast through it. And I guess that's okay. I wouldn't have gotten her back without you, Red. Boomer's lucky to have you. As for the weapon, keep it. As thanks. You ready to head home? I think I just got a new idea for a prototype we can work on. With explosions? Oh, you bet. Yes! Bye, Red! They're better for you. Maybe. What if we buried them in the sand? Boom traps. But then we might blow up everyone, not just the machines. Hmm. What are you two working on? Red! We're making boom plans. Ah, oh, we struck a deal with Abaddon when we got back. Turns out this place is gonna need some security for all those machines out there. And when he heard how Boomer's invention helped you take down the vanishing dread, we convinced him we were right for the job. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna keep the machines away without blowing everyone sky high. Not everyone. The flying ones are already in the sky. Sounds like you both have a lot of work ahead of you. And a place to call home. Home of the Boomworks. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on that name. <laughs>